As you can see, when you insert an enclosure to your 3D space from ePlan Data Portal, it is already broken down into different representations, including the door, the floor sheets, the rear and side panels, as well as your mounting panel. For this particular case, I'm going to jump right into the front of the mounting panel and I will show you how to insert devices into your panel using the 3D mounting layout navigator. Before I show you how to insert devices onto your mounting panel, let me very briefly show you how to easily add more wire ducts and mounting rails onto your panel. To insert a wire duct, you can click on this to toolbar here and you'll get this dialog where you can select a wire duct of your choice. And when you place this particular wire duct, you see that the mounting aids will help you snap onto a point. And all you have to do is drag it to the right and snap it again to the other side. To insert mounting rails, you have to select this icon and select the right mounting rail that fits your mounting panel. The trick here is to hit right click and adopt the length. What happens then is ePlan automatically adjusts the size of the mounting rail based on this wire duct. So if I want to place it centered between this wire duct and the wire duct right across it, what I have to do is right click again and hit place centered. From here, I have to select the other side and then boom. Pro panel automatically inserts the mounting rail based on the center distance. Now that we have our mounting rail, we can then go ahead and insert devices onto our panel. In order to do so, we will have to utilize another navigator called the 3D Mounting Layout Navigator. This navigator consists of all the 3D representation of the parts in the project. To show you an example, let's look back at our schematic diagram. If I want to insert this particular motor overload switch, the best way to do this is to right click and do a synchronized selection. What happens then is ePlan highlights the same component from the 3D mounting layout navigator. And then from here, you can open the mounting panel again and easily drag and drop it onto the mounting rail of your choice. If I want to insert another device, I'm going to use the same approach as, as I previously did. So back to my schematic diagram. If I want to insert this particular component, I would have to right click synchronize selection and from here I know that this is the one that I want so back to my mounting panel I can then drag and drop this component onto the mounting rail of my choice if you're interested in learning more about placing devices into your digital twin please visit our website and register to one of the online training courses that we offer. The link is provided in the description.
Thank you.